mozzarella and slices. And they got the original over here. Then you come over here. Gouda, blue. I mean, they have it all. Strong cha. Oh my goodness. Greetings, everyone. I'm the Latin American vegan, and welcome to my channel. Join me as I travel to towns, cities, and countries in search of great vegan food and fantastic new locations. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Louis, aka the Latin American Vegan. I'm here in Riyadh Avenue Mall. I'm gonna go visit or go shopping at the Lulu Hypermarket, which has a plenty, tons of vegan options in comparison to the rest of the country. So come along, we'll go and check it out. See you in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're notified when I have new content. So look at that, we're coming into the store here in Lulu Hypermarket. They're getting ready for the festival, which is the holiday, the Hajj holiday coming up soon. That looks really pretty, look at that, wow. I'm here inside the Lulu Hypermarket. Um, they gave me a little issue in the beginning because they didn't want me to, to shoot inside the market. Um, so I had to get permission from the marketing uh, manager. And so he did give me the permission to come inside and shoot. So I can bring you guys and show you guys what food they have available, what vegan options they have available inside the supermarket. So let's go ahead and go and see what they have to offer. So we're going to walk around and just so I can bring you what some of the vegan options are. And I know they have some vegan stuff. I've been here. This is a supermarket I actually go shopping in because of the options they have available. Beans here, they got different type of beans. They have organic beans, they got black beans. They got uh, just different stuff all around. So they got these coconut oil, the extra virgin. Coconut oil, I usually get these, these are pretty good. Right, they have this organic, it's a little pricey, but they got a sale going on right now. You see right there, 27, 50, it's 32, so five reals off which is about a buck fifty off of that, which is pretty good. If you see here, right here, they have this right here, Health Labs, plant-based. It's like a protein bar, a protein ball, I should say. They got different one. Um, they do taste really good. Uh, the only thing is that it's a little pricey for me just to have one protein ball. They have right here, you're looking at hazelnut. You got soy milk, you got coconut milk, you got flavored coconut milk, okay? You get over here, you have some almond milk here, almond breeze. Um, then you come down here, you have some silk, silk available, silk soy milk. You got organic soy milk here in the bottom here. Organic soy milk right there. You got the so good almond milk there. Um, you got Australia's own right there. Organic oat milk, you got rice milk. Wow. I mean, like I said, in Saudi Arabia, there is no place better for vegans to go shopping then Lulu, I mean, if you got to get all the things in one place, as much as you would like to have, this is where you can get the items that you need. And so for me, there's no better place to go shopping when I need to go shopping for regular things like rice and potatoes and vegetables, things of that nature, but also that are not available in other supermarkets. So then you come over here, then you have the dairy free down under cheese right here now these are good they have the mozzarella and you come up here you have the cheddar style cheese okay then you come over here then you have the vile life which is really nice they have again cheddar mozzarella mozzarella and slices and they got the original over here then you come over here gouda blue I mean, they have it all. Strong cha. Oh, my goodness. It is fantastic. You got over here, too. You have different ones here. You can buy them like this, package like this. Okay, different style. You have mozzarella and slices as well. You have this over here. You can buy this in like a brick, kind of, and you can cut it off yourself. I mean, it goes on and on. You got the cocoa dairy here. Delicious, creamy, dairy-free alternative. I've had these, these are pretty good as well. You have the spreads here, sour cream style. You got castle cheese dairy as well. They got the Nutilex. They got the Nutilex butter here, which is all vegan, all of them. For you guys who've never had them, you just check in the bottom and it tells you right there, see that? 
vegan, vegetarian and vegan right there. Can you see that? Vegetarian and vegan. So that's really good to have. Now look, they even got the go veggie here, cheese here. Now I don't personally, personally like these, uh, but they have uh, available. So for those who like these type of cheese. Now I do like here the Parmesan cheese. They do have a nice Parmesan vegan cheese, which is very nice to use on spaghetti, on pasta. People are going to check out the rest of the store. They got organic pastas, Italian whole grain pastas. Now you gotta do, I always check them just in case. Um, they're usually vegan, or oh, accidentally vegan most of the time, but I check them anyway. Now over here, they have the tofu. Now the tofu here is a little bit expensive. So you might get this little extra firm brick here for about $16.45, which is about, it's about, I don't know, about $4.30, but I usually go to one of the uh, Indonesian markets or the Asian markets here where I can get the tofu, which is maybe double the size of this for about about eight reals, which is about a little over two dollars. But then over here, you also have you also have the mayo. This is the style of ma uh, mayo. This is the mayo style. This is like a sauce or dip people use. They do have. I like this peanut butter here. This peanut butter is pretty good. The whole earth peanut butter. That's pretty good. Then you get over here. Then they got these this seitan here. See the seitan corn curry. It's a curry. It's a curry style seitan. See that? That's pretty good actually. They do have, they do have other things like this sausage here crumble. It's like more of a sausage, sausage crumble, plant-based sausage, and it's good to make like with um, if you're having like a taco or something like that, or if you want to eat something to mix it in your uh, breakfast um, tortilla or omelet. That's pretty good. Light life. Then they got the, they got the veg in kind of burgers type style um, those I've had before but I'm not really crazy about them and you see love to see that side vegan right there it's beautiful they also have some sausage or I guess some some Frank's Frankfurters hot dogs but they call them sausages they made out of soy that's pretty good some things over here you might have some like tabula seems like they're running out hummus is probably not as fresh but that's pretty usually pretty good okay then they have the mutabbal, uh, made out of eggplant, basically. That's pretty good as well. You gotta ask them though what they make it. Sometimes they put some uh, yogurt in it, I believe. And uh, I like some of these here. So use some of those pickles, like mixed uh, veggies. So they have like carrots and, and pickles or cucumbers, cauliflower. So that's pretty good as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this French vanilla coffee here. I like to get this French vanilla coffee. It's hard to get actually. They have different type of dates here. So that's good. I mean, Saudi Arabia is known for dates, especially uh, different places in like Pasim in the northern part of the country. Then you have places like in uh, in Medina who has, they full of places with dates, which is really, really nice. Now you have to be careful because you see like right here it says, free from gluten, wheat, and milk, but they may have some eggs in it. So this is why you have to be careful. Now we're at the vegetable and, and fruit area of the supermarket. And this place is like full of fruit, vegetables. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is probably has to be one of the biggest selections of fruits and vegetables here um, in, in, in the kingdom, period. I mean, in Saudi Arabia, you have like how many aisles of fruits and vegetables you can get um, you know, different types of ginger. I don't even eat some of these things here. You have sweet potatoes on top right there. You got tapioca right here. I mean, so you got a gogus yam right there. Right here, gogus yam. So you can get the coconut, fresh coconut here. And then you just give it into the window right there. And they'll crack it open for you. And they'll go ahead and uh, shave it and then give you fresh coconut. So we'll just breeze by the fruit and vegetable area so you can see. So everything's like really fresh. I mean, look at that. It just got tons of stuff all over the place. Look at that. It's just so fresh, everything. So you see, oh, we've got full of stuff. I mean, it's like going someplace. I mean, I love going. It's like almost going to the farmer's market. They got some stuff that's pre-packed. 
Uh, over here too as well behind me they got pre-packed stuff as well man look at look at the size of these wow have you ever seen peppers the size green peppers the size of this that is humongous it's bigger than my hand oh my goodness wow you know, you got okra right there which if you were if you guys who were following me you know that i was in a restaurant the other day and i was eating some okra bindi masala man some all those big peppers wow green peppers everything we got a lot of things pre-packaged got nice chili peppers right there good to go okay so here you got tomatoes got cucumbers wow i mean you know these are normal things that you can get but it's just nice being able to get all these things right here they usually have someone in the stand wow this is amazing you got nice potatoes right there bananas you got different type of bananas you have those bananas there the regular bananas there that we eat with cereal and these are like the Indian bananas that uh, they eat the green right now but for us Latinos we call those maduros or sweet yellow bananas they're putting out the bananas right there string beans green beans okra I mean you got you got uh, eggplant over here you got different things going on there's a Saudi eggplant right here wow you got different types just eggplant long eggplant so they have a nice variety of things look at this you got cabbage you got the cabbage the red cabbage you got the regular routine cabbage Saudi cabbage you got the white pumpkin here look at that white pumpkin huh. never tasted that if, if I'm correct yes this is the bitter guard here look at this you have these uh, what is that coyote chow 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 see that oh that's nice huh so look they have some nice packaged fruits and uh, I mean nice packaged vegetables right here nice yellow peppers red peppers orange peppers wow they got all kind of stuff here different types of peppers on that side look at the fruits here you have the fruits and everything wow I mean like I told you guys this is like the one of the biggest place here matter of fact let me turn the camera around so we look around you see how big this place is it's like so big I mean it's like goes around and around it goes for like two three rows that way it goes about two three rows this way so I'm sorry I had to cut off earlier but I had to explain to someone that uh, I got permission from the uh, marketing manager to go ahead and shoot as I was saying this place here has a lot a lot of vegetables it's a great place to come shop at there's plenty of vegan food we're not done yet let's go check out some of the other food look at the the kiwi that's available you got different type of plums now these I got to tell you these apricots here are pretty good as well you got apricot here and you got this uh, oh man these are fantastic I've never had these here but I've never had them before I came here but these are really really good tasting you got different plums and uh, Chinese apples you got a bunch of, of avocados different type of avocados then you got the Chinese apples or pomegranate you know in America we call them Chinese apples and then you got pears, different types of pears. You know, Andrew pears, Kosia pears, different type of pears. You got the iceberg lettuce here. Sorry, Sally. Huh? You got the iceberg lettuce here. You got the romaine lettuce here. You got different types of greens. They got different kind of mushrooms. Now, mushrooms are really nice because they're really versatile. And they could, if you know how to cook them and make them right, they could make things taste like chicken. So they substitute things for like chicken, red meat, uh, pulled meat, and things of that nature. They have different uh, berries. They have blackberries here. They have cherries in the bottom. They had, they have the uh, raspberries right here, strawberries right there. They got a bunch of peanut butters here, depending on which one you like, which one you want to get. They have jams, jellies. These are where the cereals at. Right here, they do have the uh, Vetabella cereals. So they got the, they got the Cocoa Krispies. They got the pillow snacks and the multi grain and cornflakes. Now I use these cornflake ones when I'm making my uh, vegan fried chicken and it really really works out really good. There is a sugar that I wanted to show you guys that is nice to get and this is this one right here. See right there, vegan, it has, they, they use some stevia with this one um, which is a natural plant and, uh, and this is specifically vegan. So you know white sugar usually you have to be careful about which white sugar you get because uh, they use animal bones and so this is why you get that, that white color learning what ingredients to get and what foods or how they made and how they process you know it's a learning process so you know if you fall if you slip you make a mistake 
It's not a big deal. You learn as you go on and you just keep on going. So don't let people discourage you. Don't let you don't let one bad day discourage you. If you're on this journey, it's a lifelong journey. Like everyone says, you know, I know you heard this plenty of time. It's not a sprint, it's about the marathon. So it's long, you gotta do the long haul. So just stay with it and um, you'll be able to be successful and eating a plant-based vegan diet. Uh, let me turn the camera around so you get a better look of what I'm actually looking for and what I want to get. So these are not the ones I'm looking for, but you can look at these and say soya bean. See, and they use these as, as a substitute. You can put them like in spaghettis and uh, some kind of mixture. You need to hydrate them. They're dehydrated. They work really, really well. Um, and then you see all, the, the, all there is in there is uh, soya, flour, and salt. So this is another one, the soy chunks. Um, soybean powder in the bottom right here it's another thing right there anyway I'm just about finished here showing you some of the items that you can get Lulu hypermarket is one of the best places if you're vegan living in Saudi Arabia to get all the vegan needs that you uh, must have you know that you can't do without they bring a lot of vegan options here and they continuously since I've been vegan I'm going on now three years almost um, and they've been bringing every year they bring more and more items that are good for vegan and plant-based dieters so please if you live in Riyadh this is the space to come to if you haven't if you don't know please come thank you for supporting me this is Louis aka the Latin American vegan here in Riyadh Saudi Arabia in Lulu hypermarket if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and if you haven't hit the bell notification please do so so that you're notified when I have new content until next time I'll see you soon this is Louis from Riyadh thanks for watching adios cuídate